Hello friends, this is the third video on how to set up Oracle 19C Data Guard step by step. We have already covered two videos. We have already done the two videos. The first video was what are the steps involved and in the second video we created the primary database. In this particular video, we will be copying, taking the RMAN backup or we will be doing the active duplication from the primary database onto standby and then we'll be changing some of the parameters on the primary and we will be changing some of the parameters and standby and we will be enabling the MRP. This video will be the longest of all three and once at the end of this particular video, our data guard setup will be complete between two databases. I have got the database name like this. I have got the Oracle DP unique name, which is my primary and Oracle DS as my standby. Right now, Oracle DP has been created with the database in archive logging, flashback has been turned on and post logging has also been turned on. And the database name is Oracle D while the unique name is Oracle DP and currently the database is in read write mode. I have already created the P file from the particular particular this particular command uh, from this particular database which I will be copying. So what we need to do to create the standby. So we will be copying the P file that we created from the primary and we will be adding the P file parameters. Then we will be starting the database, the standby in no mount mode. We will be performing the RMAN active duplication. And when we do the RMAN active duplication, we will be connecting the primary database as target while standby as auxiliary and we will be issuing rman duplicate target database for standby command and finally we will be creating the standby control file so this will be our final step now uh, there are there are other things that needs to be done as part of this particular video but let's start with creating the standby so before creating the standby let me clear if there are old so let me clear this this is where my standby will be so let me go here let me clear Okay, and let me clear this and show it to you if I have got anything here and only the two directories, the arc directory and FRA and absolutely even those directories are empty. That is literally nothing in both of those directories. So I got empty directory and my database duplication will create the database here. Sorry, not here in this particular directory. Now what I'll do is first let me copy the p file, the primary p file. So what I'll do is I'll the copy the Oracle DP and the to the standby and I will also copy the password file. So let me first go to that particular location. And if you can see, I don't have the init file for the Oracle DS, neither the password file. So let me run this particular command, which is going to create the copies. So if I run those that command again, I have got now the password file, Oracle password DP and DS. Previously, I had only one password file. And I also have the init file now. If you see, I had only Oracle init oracle dp now i have got init oracle ds dot aura so i have got this particular file this particular file is the copy of this particular file and we are before doing the duplicate we will be editing the values in this particular file so let me go to that particular location once again and edit that particular file so if i open one more terminal And if I open this particular file and what we need to do is simply it is as simple as just replace the Oracle DP with Oracle DS. That's all that we had to do literally one change and we are going to save that particular file. So now initially we copied this particular file into this particular file. And then I open this particular file and wherever there is the occurrence of Oracle DP, I change it to Oracle DS blindly without even checking. The next step is using this particular file, we will be starting the standby into 
the so if i go here i would be starting the standby into no mount mode now this means i have not edited the etc or a type entry so let me edit that particular file as well and let me add an entry so let me clear this and let me add an entry for the standby and then i will do this and i got i did not get this particular prompt so now what i'll do is like using this particular file i will be starting the standby into no mount mode for rmn duplicate command so that to, before firing the rmn duplicate command the standby needs to be in no mount mode while my primary is in open mode open read write it is open and it is read write so the primary is in read write mode while the standby is in no mount mode before running the duplicate command so uh, before showing you the duplicate command, I just wanted to show you that I have got my uh, where is it? Uh, my I got the listener and TNS names dot aura file, which I will show it to you how I have set them up because the rman command will connect to the primary and it rman command will connect to the auxiliary instance, the standby instance as Oracle DS, and to allow for this communication particular communication this this is basically the t the tns entry tns name entry so to allow for that we need to make sure that we have set this particular file so if i show you to you so oracle ds and oracle dp sorry oracle ds and oracle dp i have already set and basically what i'm doing here is i am setting the data guard on single node because i don't have that much powerful machine that i can have two virtual machines running i am i am having only an 8 gb machine and i am trying to run two databases uh, two virtual machines that's not possible so what i what i've done here is like i have got i got the the uh, one single virtual machine and i'm configuring both the primary and standby in the same, same machine and this is just for learning purpose this is not a practical scenario this is just for learning purpose so many of us will not have a powerful machine we will not have a powerful laptop that we can have two virtual machines and then if when we create the two virtual machine we need to make sure that those can communicate the ips and all that stuff that gets very complicated so to keep it very simple i kept everything in single machine so i'm doing everything in single machine now the standby is also on the same machine db1 and the primary sorry the standby is also on the same machine db1 and the primary is also on the same machine db1 and i have already configured this particular entry and now what we will be doing is we will be connecting to standby so actually let me go to Let me go to the data guard directory and I will show you my rman duplicate command. So this is the command that I would be using to let me maximize this. So what, what we are saying here is duplicate target database for standby. This is the key. We are duplicating the target database for standby and here the target will be the primary as I mentioned the target would be the primary database and auxiliary would be the standby database. So when what we are saying is duplicate target database, the primary database for standby from active. So we are doing rman active duplication, do recover, and then we are setting this SP file parameters with these particular values and then no file name check. So and to allow for us to do the restore, the primary is open it is currently open read write mode while the standby would be open with the p file that we copied the p file that we copied and edited that p file would be used to start the standby so let's do that so i am let me make sure that i am on ds let me connect as sysdba and start the database into no mount mode using the p file that we copied and edited to replace all the instances of oracle dp and that's done so we have now our database started and if you see this is the standby oracle ds and i 
I'm going to create this particular database into this particular directory. So if I go here, cd db2d slash aura data slash oracle ds and if i show it to you this particular directory is empty apart from the subfolders which are configured for archive log and fra so now let me uh, exit out of it and connect to our main session so let me connect to the our main session the target is my primary and auxiliary is my standby let me con connect to our main session and then once I'm connected to the Armen session, I will use the, the restore particular script, which I have already shown it to you previously. This, this particular script, let's, let me show it to you once again. It does the active duplication or duplicate target database for standby from active database. So this, it does an active duplication. So this particular script will be used to do the restore of target or standby database. So, uh, and so it is, looks like it has started. So let's see if anything appeared here. Absolutely nothing right now, nothing. So the restore has not at, it has allocated channels and it's processing. So let me see if anything, no, nothing. So the actual restore has not started. It is doing the pre-processing. So let's give it a minute and see if it starts restoring the files. And while it is restoring it will take a bit of time so what i'll do is like i will proceed with the so connected to auxiliary database not started so i'll proceed with the next tutorial next session and which we'll also cover so once we can once we do the duplication of the primary to standby the standby would be created so we will be having the standby created now what we need to do is on the primary we need to set some data record parameters such as log arc dash one log arc dash two log archive config to include the primary and standby unique name, the file client, the local service name, the file server, the service name of the data guard, standby uh, and standby file management for allow us to create the, uh, whenever we create the files on the uh, primary, automatically they get replicated and standby redo log to allow us for configuring the fast start failover uh, and that is one more uh, and real time apply. So to allow us to do the real time apply and fast start failover, we'll configure the standby to do log. Similar to this, we will. Okay, let's see if the files have appeared. Yeah, the files have appeared. If you see here, only this particular two. And now we have got control file, the aux file, the system file, and undo table space. So we have got those files. And while it is doing that, we will learn that on the standby also we have to configure those parameters but we have to just reverse the file client and file server rest all the parameters can rem remain the same but yeah the dash 2 uh, will point to the primary here it is pointing to the standby so on the standby it will point to the primary and then finally we will be enabling the mrp so we will be enabling the mrp so the looks like if you see our finished duplication so rmen duplication has completed so let's take a look at all the files so we have got redo log file we got control file we got aux system under table space and users table space so our duplication has completed successfully the next script that we will be doing and we will be hitting the script on both the primary and standby at the same time i'll just show it to you that it is exactly the same script both the scripts are exactly the same script it's just that one script configures the parameters the data guard parameters on the primary so this one will configure so let me open this into the edit mode so that we can see the colors and okay clear cd cd data guard and yeah so if you see what i'm doing is we are i'm adding the redo log files then I am setting the log arc, which has already been set. The dash two, which is pointing to the standby. This is on the primary. The DG config tells what is the primary and what is the standby. Then I'm enabling the stand log dash one, enabling the dash two. Then setting the file client to the local, the file server to the standby, and then setting the standby file management to auto. And the the mode will be max performance mode. So that's what. We are doing and finally we will be checking what is the mode of the database so these are the select queries that will be running so let me repeat what we have done here is we have added the standby redo logs we have this particular parameter is already set no harm in setting it again the log arc dash 2 has been set for the standby 
service, the log archive config, the primary and standby, enable the log arc dash one and dash two, and then file client to the local service, file server to the standby service, the standby file management to auto, the, the, the mode of the standby is maximize performance and then we are just querying this particular values so let me and while also at the same time i will also show you the script on the standby but the first step of this is we are going to create after duplication we are going to create the standby control file so right now we did the duplication so if you see if you saw the script okay i have uh, anyway i have shown you the script many times so the 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 control file has been we have done the duplicate so now we'll be creating the standby control file then we will be adding the standby redo logs on the standby then we will be configuring the log log, log arc dash one to set the local archiving and log arc dash two now in case of standby will point to primary then i am enabling both these locations and setting the file client and file server in the opposite order and then here it remains the same these values remain the same and all other values remain same only one difference is here i am starting the mrp using this particular command alter database recover manage standby database using current log file disconnect from session using this particular command i am starting the mrp which means by the end of both the scripts our data guard environment would be up and running and primary and standby would be integrated so this once and after this we will do a bit of testing so let's close this particular script and this so i need to run one script on the primary and one on the standby so let me verify where am i so this is my standby so i'm good and let me verify where am i so and i'm primary so here i'm on primary as you can see oracle dp and here i'm on oracle ds so i need to run one script on that standby and one script on primary i would to save my time i would run both the scripts at the same time basically they do the same thing except one change on the standby that it will start the mrp so the script name for the primary is Like this put it in the primary and make sure it is primary so it is primary and start running it and for the standby we will be taking this particular script and we are on standby and we will run this particular script sorry and while it is doing that we have to just wait but I'll just show you how am I going to do the testing, what kind of testing I'm going to do. So I'll show you. So it's running, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So while it is doing that, uh, let me show you the testing that I'll be doing. So the next part is what I'll be doing as part of the testing is, let me go to here. And what I'll do is in the first scenario, I will create one table and i will insert two records and then i will check whether those records have appeared on the standby obviously i will be doing the switch log file and archive log current so i would be checking that then the next script what i'll do is i will insert two more records and i'll check whether that those records are appeared and then the third script will also do the insert but that we will do when we do the switch over so these are the three so first we'll create a table insert two values then again we'll insert two values and finally we will do the switch over and then we will insert the value and we'll see whether the new primary sends the data shifts the logs to the standby so let's see what it is doing so it's doing what it is doing let's give it a minute so this is standby and this is my primary and let's see if it starts mrp and finally it will show us the status of the database in what mode the database is let's see that as well and while just give it a minute it's 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 a lot of steps so it's going to take some time i just don't want to pause the video and come back 
and okay so if you see here the previously i had only three redo log files now i got seven from three to seven so i added and these are the standby redo logs and then uh, there are so many things it has done so let me yeah so finally it is the standby it is currently configured as physical standby with read only so i have opened it so it's real time apply has been enabled because it is read only with and this is oracle ds while this is your oracle dp the main it is resolvable gap so it's gap is resolvable and you have primary read write mode so let's me let me take a look at the query once again and see whether it still says resolvable gap so let me hit this particular query on the primary okay so that in here we got the resolvable gap but i think that gap got cleared and now it is ready to do the switch over so on the primary it is the on dp it is oracle dp switch over status it is ready to do the status switch over it is currently in the primary and it is read write and let me also connect to the standby and run the same query which we ran here and let's see what status we get and so it is oracle ds so here it is oracle dp and switch over it is not allowed because this is standby it, the on the primary the role is primary while on the standby it is physical standby and open mode is real read only with apply which means real time apply is been enabled so we got this into primary and ready for switch over and in read write mode the standby is in the this sorry the standby is not allowed to switch over it is currently in physical standby and open with read only with apply the standby cannot be read write you cannot write to the standby now what we will as i said we will do some kind of testing so we will try to create particular table and check whether that particular table appears so uh, where you want to do the testing so let's do the testing okay so let me open the script so the first script is creating the table so before creating the table so let me take here and put sorry i can i cannot create the table here so this is standby because it says create table failed because you cannot create on standby and now let me try to create it on the primary so and before creating the table let me actually verify the data if the table is there so let me run this particular query and the table is not there so let me clear this output and okay for some reason okay okay some reason the query is taking really wrong so let me run it here and table or view does not exist now what we will do is like we will create that particular table or view as part of the first script and then we will also insert the two records the 53 and 54 so we'll also insert the two records so that's done and we have inserted two records called 53 and 54 and now i will run exactly same query on standby which said the table did not exist so this is physical standby and i'm running the same query and it said table of view does not exist let's see what happens and we saw the table is also there and the records that we inserted on the primary are present on the standby what we will do one more time is like we will insert two more records on the primary and we will check if those records does appear on the standby so let's do one more time the transaction so now we got 53 54 61 65 king and queen so we got these four records so now again i'm going on the physical standby and running this particular query and finding out yes we got so our database the standby is up and running right now and it is properly integrated the failover i would not do as part of this video the failover i would do as part of the data guard broker i hope this particular video was useful uh, do watch in for the next video where we will be configuring the the data guard broker 
but what we have done as part of this video is we copied the p file from the primary we started the standby in no mount mode using this particular p file and after copying we did edit the p file then we used rman active duplication then we created the standby control file then we changed or we set some parameters the data guard parameters on the primary similar to that we set it on the standby then we enabled the mrp and we did the testing so this was the video on how to set up the physical standby in oracle 19c and this is the third video out of this series the fourth video would be enabling the data guard broker and i will see you in that video so stay tuned in and just wait for the next video thank you for watching do see you in the next video and bye bye